Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you what we ate for a whole entire week. It's very busy, we're in baseball season, so when I am cooking, it's quick, easy meals that don't take a lot of time. I'm gonna share with you this amazing tomato basil mozzarella pizza that I made from Aldi. Hardly took me any time, and it tastes delicious. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and let's get cooking. Okay, so this first meal is super easy. We're making crunch wraps at home. All you're gonna need is tortillas or wraps, lettuce, tomato, ranch. I'm gonna do jalapeno ranch, chicken strips you're gonna cook in the oven, and then some shredded cheese. This is a really good meal. We're throwing together last minute, but you can also do this for lunch. My kids love it, we love it, it's really good. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is cut up some lettuce and tomato. We're going to eat these with kettle chips, so I just have regular and barbecue. I like these carb control wraps from Aldi. They're only 60 calories for each one. And then I have regular ranch for my kids and then jalapeno ranch for me and my husband. I didn't have any shredded cheese, so I started shredding my own for the toppings. And this is really simple and easy. All you do is put ranch down on your wrap, lettuce, a little bit of tomato, your chicken strips, you want to cut them up once they're cooked from the oven, and then you're going to top it with cheese, roll it up, and eat it, and have chips on the side. My kids loved it. It's super easy, delicious, very yummy, doesn't take long at all. We ate this quickly before we had to head to a baseball game so if you're in a busy season of life this is something you can make for your family So this meal is one of my absolute favorites. It's a five ingredient homemade lasagna and it makes so much food. It's way cheaper than buying this at the store. If you buy lasagna that's frozen at the store, you're gonna pay 20 bucks. It is insane. So this is how you do it. You put a little bit of spaghetti sauce down, you get the oven ready lasagna noodles, put them down next. Then you're gonna cook up some ground beef or Italian sausage, whatever you prefer. You could even do a mix of it. And then you're gonna make your ricotta cheese filling. All I do is one egg per one container of ricotta. You can add parsley, Italian seasoning, whatever you prefer. Mix it up really, really well. And that's gonna be your cheese filling that you're gonna spread. All right, so now you're gonna start layering the cheese. Do a little dollop on each piece, spread it out with your spoon. It does not have to be perfect. And then you're gonna put your meat, a little bit of sauce, and you're gonna continue this. If you wanted to sprinkle like Parmesan or mozzarella in between each layer, you could. If you wanted to put spinach, you could. You can really make this your own. And then you're just gonna continue layering this. I just used two jars of pasta. And then you're gonna add some water. It says on the box of the lasagna when you buy it that you need 
a certain amount of cups of water put in the container and I just follow that rule and it turns out great. When I'm done, I put foil on this and I cook it in the oven for like 30 to 45 minutes. You really just want to make sure that the noodles are getting done. I put foil on top so that it does not burn and then you're done. You can put Parmesan on top, but I will put my recipe in the description box so that you can see how exactly I do everything. we're doing a sausage stir fry I usually do this in the oven but today I did not feel like getting my kitchen dirty and I just wanted to cook outside so my husband was going to do this on our Blackstone so all you do is have to pick some vegetables and some sausage to cut up and I'm starting with Brussels sprouts because they were on sale at Aldi I'm gonna cut up a combination of beef sausage and chicken sausage I'm also going to cut up an onion and I'm going to make sure that the onion pieces are big enough where you can like grab it with a fork. I'm also going to cut up some bell pepper. So for the potatoes, I'm doing my veggie chopper and I will link this down below. I probably should have used the veggie chopper for everything, um, but this made it super quick and easy. Just give them a wash, put them in here, chop them up. And then I'm going to put some olive oil on this mixture and some Uncle Chris's, a little bit of salt. And I'm gonna mix this together with my hands. I actually have to end up putting this in a bigger bowl because I didn't have enough. And then we're gonna put this on the black stone and just cook it well. You wanna make sure you have enough olive oil on the potatoes so that they cook. But that's it, we like to put um, ketchup or barbecue sauce or Worcestershire sauce and you can even do soy sauce. My kids like to eat this, it's really good.
Okay, so dinner tonight's gonna be really easy but fun. Yeah, and we're not eat. I don't like pepperonis. Okay. But but I can eat the cheese and the pepperonis today. Okay. Because I love pepperonis. All right, we're gonna use these from Aldi. It's a two pack for just like a couple of bucks. So I, I got two. two of them for our family. Mom. So we're gonna put this in the oven and wait. On 425 for five to six minutes. We're gonna do two different types of pizza. So for this one, we're gonna do tomato, mozzarella, and basil. First pizza we did was super easy, self-explanatory, just pizza sauce, cheese, pepperonis. This one I'm doing a little fancier for me and my husband. I did chopped up tomato, basil, and fresh mozzarella. I should have done the tomato slices a little bit smaller, but it turned out really good. Once you put your tomato sauce down on the pizza, I just spread this out. My girls did it. You really can't mess this up. And then these flat bear pizzas, I'm putting them on the oven rack. It says on the package that you can do like actually put it on a pan or put it on the oven rack for a toastier effect. Last time we did these, I put it on a pan and we didn't really like the way the bread was, like it wasn't cooked enough. So we put it on the oven rack, don't be scared. It doesn't fall apart, it's really sturdy. I mean, look how beautiful that is and it turned out really good. You only have to cook it for like five to six minutes and then you can eat it. So it, even though it looks like this took me a lot of time, it really didn't take that much besides cutting because you only cook it for five minutes and then you can eat it. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for two more videos next week. I'm gonna have another what's for dinner for y'all very soon. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye everybody.